Hello my soccer universe. Uh, at this moment I really regret that I don't have a Leicester City jersey. Um, yeah, wearing Atletico for obvious reasons. Yesterday I think it's the only team where I have a jersey that actually won over the two days, but it's mostly because most teams, my favorite teams are all playing today, which is my birthday. Uh, you will get this video probably, uh, hopefully Monday, maybe Tuesday. So uh, that that's where it's going. But yeah, I actually watched Friday uh, evening some soccer. My wife and I wanted to have a comfy day on our couch on that evening after the kids were asleep. And uh, she said, "Yeah, don't mind if you put on some games." Um, so I put. I said, "Okay." Southampton Leicester City sounds really like a fun game. There could be many. There could be goals in it. Wasn't wrong about that one, so I put that on the main screen and then on the other I said, okay, uh, yeah, there's not against Monaco, which is also kind of an interesting matchup in France. So, um, no uh, Mainz Köln, no Villarreal, no uh, Hellas Verona, and so on. I said, it's England and France. Well, uh, the French game stayed on, Monaco won that one, um, but the Leicester City game, nope, did not last long. Uh, <laughs> Because it was already 20, 20, 20 minutes in, it was 3 0 for Leicester and a red card for Southampton uh, in horrible weather conditions. I mean, it all fit perf perfectly. That Leicester then runs away uh, with a 9 0 win. And we watched in the last stoppage time, I think it was 8 0. I, I always checked what the score was and I told myself, yeah, 7 0, 8 0. And then uh, all the other games were always like, okay, let's flip. And 9 0. From a penalty in the last minute. Um, you know, I told half jokingly that uh, given the ugly jerseys that Southampton has, they actually deserve it. I really like Hasenhüttl as a coach, uh, but I think it's got to be on him. Um, some speculation is yeah, he tried to, continue, even with 10 men, tried to play the pressing style, which of course Leicester completely dominated. It's the highest win. Premier League history, the highest away win. Uh, I mean, it was a record-breaking evening, uh, that's for sure. Um, and as I said, um, I like Hasenhüttl as a coach. I wish him all the best. I hope he can get out of it. I hope he can survive this. Uh, I'm not, I never was a huge Southampton fan, so from that point of view, no. No harm or no no foul, but the game that I ended up watching was a much worse game, although it was a very nice uh, color matchup. Hellas Verona against Sassuolo. Um, watched most of that one and it ended 1-0 for Sassuolo. I really liked the blue against the green and white. That actually looked quite good. The blue with a little bit of yellow in there. That looked really good. Uh, also, but before that, I also, because it was the earliest start, I watched the Mainz Kern. It was 1-1 one, one, and then a wonderful goal made it 2-1. And yeah, it ended 3-1 for Mainz, although it didn't go quite my way. Uh, Saturday is also relatively quickly told. I decided I want to watch the Bundesliga conference with the five games. Because uh, there was Schalke Dortmund in there. A game where Schalke had two twice hit the uh, work. Uh, had the bet of the game, but there were no goals in there. So I was glad I watched the conference. Uh, Freiburg gets a ugly win against Leip Leipzig. Leipzig, it's it's one-way soccer on the Freiburg goal with the first shot on goal in stoppage time. Freiburg makes it 1-0 and with the second they make it 2-0. Um, personally, I'm happy about it because I really like Freiburg. Uh, it's like I, The town of Freiburg is the nicest town in Germany that I've seen. The team, there is something about it that, uh, you know, small town team uh, from the Black Forest area, it's really, uh, really cool in in innovative that doing well the only thing is now that they're building a new stadium that they cannot play in in the evening because of um sound laws or whatever uh that's a story to watch out for um and i'm also sorry that they build a new stadium because i think the old stadium there is i have been at the stadium too there's a certain charm to it it's it's this yeah f old style football stadium yes it's not modern but i, I love it um so yeah uh, so that was then uh, 
the Bayern game against Union Berlin, you would think the Bayern should win this easily. Um, and yeah, when they were 2 0 up, I mean, Lewandowski made, made his goal. Then um, the first goal was by Pavar, typically Pavar fashion, almost like the score, the goal he scored against Argentina, just a little bit more centralized and a bit less impressive, but the shot, the type of shot was the same. Um, but Union got two penalties and at 1 0. That penalty was saved by Neuer, and then only when it was 2-0, they converted the Panther penalty. So with that, it could have been a draw. It was not a good Bayern performance overall. So yeah, um, people at Bayern are not quite happy these days. Has to be clearly, clearly, clearly said. Uh, what I missed yesterday, I think then the part, part, part one got a win against Düsseldorf. That was of note, and Union Berlin came back from a 2-0 down, but then ultimately lost 2-3 against uh, Hoffenheim. So yeah, I mean, it was enjoyable. I just wish that the uh, Schalke Dortmund clash, which was one of the bigger ones this weekend, would have worked out better. Um, what I missed was Juventus dropping points in Lecce, which makes now my million result. Last week, the 2-2, not as bad, but you know, Ronaldo was not playing, but still, it was a good Juventus squad that should have uh should have won um but they didn't both uh, goals scored from penalties of course and then in the evening um i quickly a little bit saw of lille against bordeaux i saw the one nil um but then inter parma was an intriguing match that i wanted to see and boy was it worth watching parma actually having really good chances at the beginning of the of the game then inter gets Probably from the first or second real attack, they get the 1 0 uh, through Candreva. Um, was uh, deflected with the butt of a Parma defender, but Parma within three minutes equalizes. And then with a wonderful counter, four minutes later, Chavinho uh, makes it 2 1, really nicely played. And they had then two or three more counter attacks like that where they just don't see the empty. Uh, the the free the, uh, free attacker on the other side. Uh, if they would be more aware of that, I think they, Parma could have easily won that one. Um, but when you see, especially the the, the two one, how free Jovinho is, uh, everyone is concentrated. You see it from from the behind the goal. Five players are concentrating on uh, the Parma attacker, a French guy. I don't know the name now, and. Jovino is all free there and can put it in. Was very happy with that one. Um, but yeah, Inter gets the equalizer. It was seemingly offside the first uh, time I saw it. Mm, this might be offside. And I see a second picture. This could be tight. It was a really, really tight. It took three minutes for them to calibrate the lines to make sure that it's not offside. It was not offside. A little bit unhappy about that one. But yeah, uh, Parma had more more chance. But in the end, there was also a huge chance where Lukaku starts an attack, puts it out to the right side. The cross come, 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 comes in, he wants to take the header, and then one guy, and he was in such good, good position, he probably would have buried that, 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 that would fall for the win, but the ball is taken away from him by the other attacker from Inter, so <laughs> ends 2-2. Two, two. So Inter cannot take advantage of you with dropping points. If Inter would have won, they would have been in first place again. That's how it goes. So uh, Napoli could be the big winner in that one. And then in the evening, I watched... Atletico Madrid against Bilbao was not the absolute 100% greatest game ever, but was a useful game. Um, Atletico Madrid also also quite clinical. Saul getting the first goal and um, nicely played goal uh, for Morata. Atletico Bilbao just couldn't find their way in back in it in a way. Uh, they were had a really good work rate, had good chances. Uh, was an even if but not great game, but um, yeah, Atletico Madrid was just clinically, and that helped Atlet Atletico Madrid. Also, I have to say it again: uh, if you watch La Liga games, the effort they put in to give you nice replays, um, to give you a little bit of tactical information, I think the watching experience in La Liga is probably the best uh, with all the graphics that they pull out. Uh, I know it can be distracting, but I think. I would actually like to see a little, a little bit more, especially when they put the formations on. That's something really nice to watch. Uh, it gives you a different perspective on soccer. Also, when they uh, gave the pass to Morata to the goal, they actually zoom more or less into the head. There, you see how 
how was he seeing uh, that ball when he played it? So uh, really, really interesting stuff that La Liga pulls out there. Uh, quickly in England, I think uh, City won 3-0 against Aston Villa. And I also saw that, um, uh, yeah, uh, Chelsea... 4-2, they were up 4-0, and yeah, Pulisic scored three. So all American viewers will be very happy that Pulisic got on and showed that he is a good player. What can I say? Uh, I just hear about it a lot that in America people are not happy about that. Anyway, on my birthday I will not see much live, but I will try. I will at least watch in the evening as a replay uh, Milan Roma. Because I'm at a hockey game, and yeah, there are so many great games today. Starting from Milan Roma, um, you have the Classica in the Netherlands, and you have Le Classic in France. Just three on the top of my head in Austria. You have Salzburg against Rapid. So there's a lot of good stuff happening today. I think even uh, Czech Republic they have a top of the table clash. It's really, if I wouldn't have had those hockey tickets for a long time, this would be the perfect birthday with so many great games. But hey. Uh, you gotta do what I gotta do. I wanna have a, a, a night out at the hockey rink, so uh, it's also gonna be fun. Okay, let's see how the games went on Sunday. Well, I had a wonderful birthday, but I did not watch any soccer until I came home from the hockey game, which was actually quite a good one. 5-4 win for Linz. Um, should have been more clear, clearer win, uh, but the ref decided to send us way too often to the benches. So yeah, uh, the game was probably tighter than it should have been, but 5-4, good time with my wife. Uh, it was nice to be watching some hockey for a change again. Um, I had the big plan after the game to watch Milan. Unfortunate, uh, because I thought I will not get the one day. Unfortunately, the guy right in front of me pulled out his phone multiple times to check on that score. So I was very well aware how it was going. And the way it was going is that, yeah, uh, they spoiled a little bit my birthday. They had a, a brighter start. But the Roma was, although tired from the Europa League, was always dangerous on um, uh, set pieces. And in the end, it is a header where Jaco is completely free, where Roma gets the 1 0 uh, at the half. Milan comes actually back in the game and uh, finds a winner, uh, finds an equalizer. For a nice ball, Calabria to Theo Nandes, who cuts in, puts it into the net. 1 1, life! And then it sucked out of you in no time because Calabria makes then a horrible, horrible, horrible mistake. Uh, uh, the pass is intercepted by, I think, by Dzeko and then uh, Saniolo can put it in. I think it's just fractions after the 1-1. One, one. Yes, 55th, Hernandez and 58th, Saniolo puts it in. Uh, Roma could have made it 3-1, Milan could have found the equalizer through Cialanoglu, but in the end, yeah, uh, disappointing. Uh, without having seen the game, disappointing and probably the one spoiler of my birthday, to be honest. Um, quickly in Italy, the other theme is that no one wants to really take care of the um, slips by Juve and Inter, because Napoli manages only 1-1 one, one at Spal. They get the very early at Spal, then almost immediately equalizes. And then it's one-way soccer in uh, towards the goal of Spal, but Napoli cannot find the breakthrough. Milik is being especially wasteful with chances. Um, on the other side, Atalanta trashes Udine 7 1, so to get off their Champions League frustrations. So uh, it's actually Atalanta does take care and closes the gap. They're now only three points behind Juventus, but Napoli really, really missed the chance there. It could have been a whole lot closer. Uh, staying in Italy, uh, Bologna gets a late win against Sampdoria. Sampdoria actually played better than before, but could not get uh, any points out, out, out of it. Cagliari leads in at Torino, but has to give up... Um, uh, quick an equalizer and in the end Lazio also gets a very late win against Fiorentina so that basically the results in Italy are basically my only spoilers for the birthday uh, everything else went actually quite nice starting in Austria where Lusk uh, got a win 
and that's it against Altach, a team that's really at the lower ranks of the table now. 1-0, Klaus uh, made it. You gotta say it should have been probably more goals, but on the other side you had a tough game against Eindhoven. Um, on Thursday, for the first time, they were flying out to Vorarlberg, which was also probably not a bad idea, and they get the win. That's that. And the big game in Austria between Salzburg and Rapid was actually quite an interesting one, with Haaland dominating the first half. Um, he is foul. He misses a chance. He's fouled for a penalty that is converted to Zobozlai. Then a few minutes later, another penalty is given for Salzburg. Now Huang steps up, but uh, his penalty is saved. And then I think he makes the 2 0 himself. And everyone thinks, yeah, this is going to get ugly for Rapid. However, out of nowhere, Rapid gets a goal right at the end of the half. And then Rapid gets back uh, fighting and actually very, very late gets an equalizer. That at that moment, because uh, Salzburg, you could really clearly see they got tired. Um, cannot uh, looks like Salz Salzburg is giving up points for the first time. They have at every home game scored so far at least four goals. They make it three because with a wonderful free kick, Yunus, which gets the winner. So the big game in Austria also um, uh, ends in an expected win. Speaking of big games, before we go to other leagues, um. Yeah, I didn't see any Premier League highlights. I saw that uh, Spurs got an early, very early through Kane, and then Liverpool turned around in the second half for a 2-1 win. I need to watch these highlights. You get this in my roundup video. Um, and Arsenal uh, drops points at home. United do wins. That's, uh, I think, of note. Um, but yeah, we had... I'm wearing Ajax. Ajax completely dominated Feyenoord. It was 4-0 at halftime and then they could ease off a little bit. I think Ziyech, uh scores after two minutes. Uh, Natalia Fico makes it uh, then uh, in the seventh. 2-0. Neres in the seventh and Van de Beek uh, also. Uh, in the 40th, Tadic had a big sitter but he assisted goal one and three. So pretty cool. And... Uh, the bigger result, I haven't seen the highest, is Alkmaar beat PSV 4-0. So it's six points clear for Ajax at the table. And yeah, PSV, I thought they were much better. But they had a tough game against my Lusk. So um, I saw highlights from the Bundesliga um, quite some, where there was a really good um, game between Gladbach and Frankfurt where Gladbach uh, took a 2-0 lead, but Frankfurt could... Uh, uh, yeah, I think it was a 2-0 lead. Uh, Frankfurt could, could pull back, then it was 3-1, 3-2, and in the end Gladbach wins 4-2. Uh, and Wolfsburg cannot manage anything against Augsburg, which kind of is disappointing, but again, Europa League. So this ends 0-0. Yeah, it was exactly as I said, 2-0 at the half, then the uh, two to Ram and went. The Costa puts one back for Frankfurt. Uh, Elvedi 3-1, but Hinteregger in the 79th, and then Zakaria in the 85th makes it 4-2 for Gladbach, meaning Gladbach stays top of the table. Um, Spain, uh, yeah, Real Sociedad gets a late win against Celta Vigo, which is kind of lucky, uh, but um, they play in the green jerseys. Um, I think the other Notable results also Sona beats Valencia 3-1. And then we are already at Le Classic, which went the exact same way as the Ajax result. Icardi, except that Ajax scores sooner, but Icardi scores two goals early on, and then uh, Ampape adds two more. So 10th Icardi, 26th Icardi, 32nd Mbappé, 44th Mbappé. Uh, Di Maria assisting to, especially the assist to the, on, on the fourth goal. Uh, Marseille not being on the field. Cavani made a comeback and to be honest PSG stopped playing so toying with the opposition uh, and that was basically uh, what I saw yesterday on highlights um, just looking over a remarkable results but I think I gave you all so yeah fill me in I saw only highlights fill, fill me in what you saw give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that would be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. With that, I wish you a wonderful day.
Bye. Bye.